lot of ability. We've seen some spurts out of him this season the few times we've got to see him. Well, this is what I was, you know, he was taking his time. That bull stood in there so good for so long. And he just he just kept taking his time. And that, you know, that book that, that's the book on this bull. He's like a ticking time bomb in that shoot. So you got to take care of business. You've got to wrap that rope around your hand, get up there and get in position and get out of there. That bull stood forever. Hostage the bull as Ty explained what could go wrong and what did happen. Meanwhile, he's got big Brock Radford, his great friend, the fellow Canadian rider who's also an alternate, keeping him safe. Chad Berger there, Corden McCoy, stock contractor, former PBR riding great, also there right around the shoots. Looks like Rubens Barbosa in the jean shirt. Whole cast of characters down there trying to help Lonnie West get safe. Now this time, see this bull's back to standing and, and you know, I'm not saying it was his fault. I'm just saying don't press your luck in there. As long as he's standing up, you know, and really when you try to get in too much of a perfect position, even on some of these bulls, especially in this round, they're so big in that shoot that even when they're standing good, sometimes you can't get up exactly where you want to be. The thing you got to remember is you're not going to hold that position anyway. Let, so let, get close, nod for them, and get to moving. Ty, because of what you just mentioned about the bull's size, let's fast forward all the way to the end of the evening. Is Pacheco going to have any problems with the size of his bull in the shoot yeah, with his he, knee? Yeah, and he's bad in the shoot too, and, and that's one of those things. And it, you know, it seemed like every time you had an injury to your knee or your lower leg or your ankle, it seemed like without a doubt you were going to draw a big one that was bad in the shoot, and, that, and that's part of the deal. That's something he'll really want to try to do to protect that knee as much as he can. Lonnie West prepping again, and based on what you just said, Ty Wright, Hostage has been nice and calm as he's let him set his wrap and get his rope ready. You would think he would learn from the last time he was in this position. Yeah, like he's got a chance right there. Now, now you're up on your rope. Sit down and nod. 22 years of age, Lonnie, one of three brothers. Their father, Kevin, won the Calgary Stampede back in 1998. It looks from from what I can tell, the best I can tell, there it is on the clock. I, Things say the bull must be squatting just enough that the judge hadn't decided to put him on the clock, but there he went. Oh! All that prep turns into some horrible aftermath for Lonnie West. A brutal buck off, and then he got run over. See him jerks him forward, pops him back. I mean, this is that bull there. Sometimes you see a bull pull a foot. That one didn't pull a foot at all, and that's a that's close 2,000 pound bull right there. Not only did Hostage right have a couple contacts on the way up and over, but then he came at him with the hooves, and then even went back at him when he was able to focus on him again. Ooh, right into the middle of the vest, rolls over top of him with the left side. The bullfighters all there trying to clear the space as best they could. Meanwhile, sports medicine now out attending to the Canadian rider who in his first attempt, remember, the whole reason he was in was because of the horrible accident to Ryan Dirty Dirt last night. He's got Brock Radford, Jess Lockwood right there looking over sports medicine. We'll come back, hopefully with an update on his condition.